Hello everyone and welcome to this video showing you how to choose which mutation recipes you get from the Trebum Upgrade Shrines. Because believe it or not, you can impact which ones it gives you. The Upgrade Shrine determines which mutations to give you based on several conditions. First, the Shrine will only ever give you a maximum of three mutation recipes. The shrine will also never give you the same mutation recipe twice. It will also only give you one mutation per category on a visit. So for example, it will never give you two trunk mutation recipes or three body mutation recipes or two eye recipes and a leg recipe. It only ever chooses one mutation per category. The mutations it chooses follow some rules. The shrine always prioritizes the mutations that the leader has. So if the leader only has three mutations that you have not learned, it will always choose those three to give to you. There is one exception though. Some mutations are time locked, meaning it is impossible for you to learn the recipe until you get to a certain part in the story. You can tell which mutations are time locked by looking at your mutation tree. If you look closely, you'll notice that the mutations are actually separated by several lines. The mutations in this section are only unlocked once you reach the desert in Chapter 3, and the outermost mutations are only unlocked once you reach Chapter 4. Other than that though, it will always choose those three mutations that the leader has to give to you as recipes. If the leader has more than three mutations, then the shrine will randomly choose three of the mutations that the leader has. If the leader has three mutations but one of them you know the recipe for, or the leader only has one mutation or has no mutations, or only has mutations you know the recipes for, it will instead choose random mutations that you know of to fill the gaps. You know which mutations you know of by looking at your mutation tree. Any mutation that has an icon is a known mutation. Anywhere you see these small circles is an unknown mutation. The shrine will only give you an unknown mutation if it has no other choice. Giving players the opportunity to discover mutations they didn't even know exist. I know this because I was actually able to learn the mutation recipe for Master of Song before I was even close to the Grash Tub because there was only one mutation left I had not learned and had not seen and it was that one. So I was very surprised to walk into the shrine and see a Master of Song trouble staring right at me. As for the joke mutations, which all last a limited amount of time, these are on the bottom of your mutation tree and have no recipes. The shrine will continue to give you mutation recipes, and once you have learned everything you can, the next time you go to an upgrade shrine, there will be no Trebum hologram. There are three shrines you can get mutation recipes from in Chapter 2, four shrines in Chapter 3, and four shrines in Chapter 4, making a total of 11 shrines, allowing you to learn 33 mutation recipes. This does leave you 9 mutations short of learning every single mutation in the game. However, there is a way around this and that is by killing cleansers, exonerators, or liberators for this special amber item that can teach you a mutation. I have a video talking all about this item that you can check out here. If you have any questions, comment below and I will help you out. Thanks for watching. 